You're watching F5. We are at Jitex 2023 in Dubai. Amazing conference so far. And I am joined by longtime F5er Sudhir. Sudhir, can I get you to introduce yourself? Hello, hi. I'm Sudhir Sanil. I'm heading the pre-sales team across Middle East, Turkey, and Africa. Uh, it's uh, great to have you uh, and uh, uh, it's a great event, uh, Jitex. Uh, uh, a lot of uh, interesting and exciting. I'm excited to be here as well. Awesome, cool. Uh, how long have you been at F5 for now? I've been uh, here with F5 for uh, now 17 plus years. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I was uh, part of the initial startup uh, when we started uh, uh, F5 operations uh, in Dubai. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Wow. Okay, so let's take a step back then. Where, where was, how was Dubai covered before you started in here? Yeah, when uh, we started, our operations was uh, handled from UK. Okay. Uh, we started uh, our office uh, with only two persons. Uh, the sales director flying all the way from UK here. Uh, I, I was part of the uh, team with the distributor. At that time, secure way, now exclusive networks. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. And then you made the move over to F5. Yes. Uh, and then we started our operations uh, from here as well as in Saudi Arabia. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay, cool. So you've seen a lot of change then. Uh, maybe you can talk us through that. Obviously, for us to put up an office here, it sounded like the investment needed to be made to take advantage of some growth that was happening here. So you've probably seen all of that growth. So maybe tell me about you know some uh, some of the milestones along the way in that growth. Yeah, uh, when uh, we got F5 and I joined F5, it was a big uh, game changer because F5 came from the application world to the network, whereas we were seeing uh, most of the security components uh, which was under the network domain, mainly firewalls. Uh, we introduced the concept of application security and application delivery controllers, and that really became a, a sort of a game changer for most of the customers who are moving business into uh, applications. Uh, of course, the application at that time was a three-tier architecture, uh, app, uh, the web app and uh, database. Uh, of course, this has evolved quite a bit now. Today, we are looking at applications which are uh, being delivered uh, across multi-cloud, uh, uh, and the application itself has changed from uh, the monolithic to a microservices uh, type of architecture. Uh, it's very agile, uh, and we had to move and innovate uh, our solutions along with the uh, application. We follow the application, and one of the main components was to have uh, application security. And that is uh, evolving by the day. And, uh, uh, the solutions have been innovative in, in terms of uh, looking at all the threat landscape uh, and uh, we, we see that uh, we are able to drive that innovation to build in um, the type of uh, 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 sophisticated attacks which is happening today yeah. and we are able to manage that effectively. You know, maybe it's from my North American lens. I just don't get as much of the news that comes from Middle East necessarily, but with you being local here, would you say that you see the same amount more or less of cyber crime in the Middle East uh, compared to North America? Uh, in fact, it is uh, much more uh, uh, much more intense in terms really? of the awareness as well as the level of security which is required here. Uh, what has happened is uh, the drivers being digital transformation, uh, digital first in most of the organizations. As they move their business applications towards digital transformation, uh, the new challenge is the cyber attacks and the evolving threats which are uh, happening uh, as of today. And um, the, there is a lot of emphasis in security in our region. Uh, while they're deploying their applications. Uh, great that they uh, think of that as they deploy their applications instead of after uh, deploying their applications. Um, and maybe you can speak to, I think a lot of people when they think of uh, this region, they think of oil and gas. Uh, but um, you know, what kind of industries have you seen 
um, in addition to that, perhaps, uh, really grow across these 17 years? Uh, in fact, uh, uh, there is a big push by the government uh, in our region to take the lead of digital transformation. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, that uh, is the driver for all other sectors. Mm -hmm. So I would say the government spending is very high in terms of accepting the new technologies and making sure their infrastructure is state of art. Uh, they are uh, embracing uh, uh, or transforming um, all their uh, uh, all their services, e-services, uh, uh, to digital applications. Uh, the initiative started from in Dubai, for example, uh, with the Digital Dubai Initiative, where uh, some of the services like uh, uh, all the government services became paperless. That was announced in 2017, and it was already implemented, and we are sort of in a very sh uh, short time span. Wow. Uh, there are many other initiatives. There are, I believe, more than 50 plus applications on uh, the smart uh, uh, city application. Uh, the, um, uh, uh, the other initiatives like uh, they're looking at is blockchain, Looking okay, at the legalities involved for that, uh, the AI is big time now. Uh, they're looking at how uh, uh, generative uh, AI can help uh, uh, give better user experience uh, for our uh, for the for the citizen services, as well as organizations are trying to make user uh, experience the number one priority for uh, delivering their services today. Yeah. That's interesting. I think uh, very forward thinking of uh, the government to adopt those things uh, so quickly because sometimes you have governments who just, because you can't really get around it, they are okay with not having the best services. But it seems like here, um, the government actually wants to be ahead and sometimes leading uh, ahead of private sector uh, as well. Um, so, and, and the other sector I would say is the finance or the fintech. Uh, they have really embraced uh, 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 basically online uh, banking applications. Uh, they have uh, provided uh, multiple applications, and most of them are mobile-based applications, which are, which need additional level of security for such applications. And these are the trends which are happening in every uh, fintech uh, organization as well. All righty. Well. Uh, great chatting with you, Sudhir. Uh, you've been at F5 for 17 years now, so my question is, are you signed up for another 17? Yeah, I'm uh, here. Uh, what is exciting about this uh, uh, industry and with F5 is that we are constantly being evolving, and F5 has been innovating every year with new and new solutions, uh, which uh, meet customer expectations. Uh, we are today, uh, uh, we have uh, services which are uh, spread across uh, data center, cloud, uh, and uh, the edge. Uh, so we cover a diverse customer needs, and uh, that keeps me going. Cool. <laughs> Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Yeah, fantastic. Keeps me going as well. I'm uh, I'm in 12 years, and I could do another 12 uh, easily. So. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for joining me today. On behalf of myself, F5 Sudhir, the whole Middle East uh, team as well. Uh, uh, thank you for checking out all of our content at GITEX 2023. Like, follow, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Bye for now. Thank you. Awesome.